Hello and welcome, Silracia with Battletech, where career continues. This is this is a salvage mission. So after the couple couple battles on the uh, couple missions, a uh, couple drops, um, I now have enough symbols to <laughs> not go bankrupt. Um, and so this time. I am here with full, full salvage. Because, um, last time I did this, last time I had a recovery mission, I did full salvage. I was forced to leave the planet because we took so much damage that we had to repair stuff. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, hoping that's not the case this time. There is, there is a hostile over there. Hoping that does not happen this time. But yeah, the, the, the sea build rights were really bad. And so salvage rights were something like 4 slash 19, so I am here on full salvage rights. And I'm hoping there is enough mechs here to fill that 490. What we have? Oh, an AL, alright. An AL. Uh, that an assault. Better be a vehicle because if it's an assault mech, I am going to be kind of kind of wonked out if that's an assault mech. Right now, I mean, if there is only three targets here, we need to we need to get some serious parts off one of those. Right now, I'm just pummeling this this thing as much damage into it as possible to begin with, so we can we can start. Chipping off. Uh, I put too much damage into the CT though. Oh, there is at least fourth one. Uh, Alright. Yes, Commander. Might be. Uh... Okay, let's not. Let's use this ridge here as a as a cover. Yes. Alright. Some kind of okay. There is light something. Might make with the large laser, probably a Commando One Bravo, or might be one of those fleas. I think one of the fleas had a. Oh, that's that's something with LRMs moving in the light phase. Um, low cost one M's or Javelin Ten A's. That might be an LRM fifteen rack, so my probably a Javelin Ten A. Okay, that's a lot of LRMs. That's probably a like a. Like a lens of low cost 1Ms and a, and a javelin 10A. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Um, so there is a. Uh, there is the Centurion here. Then there is an. Let's, let's side shot and shoot this thing. So I would like to have a, an AL. I would not mind an AL. I would I would not mind another um, 50 ton or medium back. Okay. That's a back shot. Do not want a back shot. Okay. Really just want to uh, try and strip it of a uh, of lot of like if we can get an ammo explosion here and knock off the leg, that would be a fluffing bur perfect. Position confirmed. That would be perfect. Oh, that went really well. Damn. That went way too well. Now give me that leg. Do I precision strike the leg? Nope. Let's just fire. Oh, very good. We went into the lag. AC-10 shell went into the lag. Uh, that's a striker. Or striker Norik. Because what else uh, moving in... That's a lot of LRM on this, on, on, on this mission. Like, a lot of LRM. We're taking up too much damage. We need to get into the forest cover. 
I also need to start really thinking of giving all of my pilots a, a bulwark. Um, I uh, I haven't really thought of what I'm going to do with pilot skills. So far, on, only thing I have done is uh, I have bumped everybody's um, gunnery to four. Gunnery to four. And that's it. Yeah. Um, That's a rear shot. You here. You here, and then then we are doing this lag. On. Ah, got the CT. Oh well. That's a kill. Well, that gives me a bunch of lasers in the in the salvage table. What's up, boss? Heading out. Now put everybody in this forest and cool off. Spread around a little so we don't get a stray shot and... Yeah, it's a striker narc. Okay, that thing dies next turn. Thing uh, dies next turn. And then we have a whole lot of Locust 1Ms. I suppose we can get a full Locust 1M. Stick that into storage. And we have collected a Locust 1M. Oh, that Norak is going to be painful, because we're gonna get pummeled by so many LRMs now. Uh, barely hit, Commander. That Norak is going to be so annoying. Okay. That has to be an assault. Assault vehicle as well. Standing by. Let's turn you the other way around. Confirmed. Kill this. Order. And here. Shoot it to pieces. Come on, how are you failing this so badly? Finally. Finally. Now, you. Okay, very good. Oh, it was a flea. Okay. We're getting a part of a flea as well here. Need to start pushing these mechs now. Well, because the, the light mechs we need to probably melee to death. Because actually, um, actually shooting at them from distance is going to be painfully annoying because they have so much evasion. And so much evasion. Damage is light. Okay, this is fairly good. We have managed to managed to spread the damage around. This is sort of decent. What happens is you vigilance and then you go and melee this thing from this side so that we are not exposing to the assault, whatever that is. That should get rid of all the evasion. No, it was it didn't. Because it didn't go um Oh that is interesting. Well it should still die now, so it should still die right now. Okay. Orders? Move you one. Standing by. Move orders. Let's prepare for dealing with this assault vehicle. Now, I am going to reserve. Because this, this thing is still bulwarked up. Yep, there is the LRM. Javelin? Ah, it's two LRM javelins. It's two LRM javelins. And it is indeed Locust 1M. And probably a second Locust 1M.
Okay. Well, at least there will be enough stuff to fill the full 19 pieces of salvage I have here. So, um, let's see, what do we have? Yeah. Or no carrier, okay, that thing needs to die, like, right now. To die right of love now. Uh, first of all, a uh, big question. Can you... Yeah, you can mill it low cost. That means we uh, need to deal with the Inferno Carrier with other other max. I'll jump you here because you have full armor. Oh. Okay, very good. Very, very, very good. Then you... Uh, we vigilance you... And then melee this thing. Copy that. Oh, nice, nice melee. Uh, now comes the next question Who can we shoot to pieces? This one. Let's shoot the knockdown thing. Is the AC-10 shell, which is annoying, to say the least. Phoenix Hawk should have enough movement that I can, right now. Nearly another one. Yeah, vigilance up. Vigilance is so good. Especially once you have bulwark. You just vigilance bulwark in the open and just run in there and do your stuff. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's better to do it in the forest, obviously, still, but. Um, Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. Okay. Moving so. Pummel missiles into this thing, CT. Go! Okay, we blew everything up. Most that works. For orders. You up, and let's go for the other, uh, or low cost. Man, the amount of missing with that AC 10 is getting real annoying. I really need a lot more gunnery, huh? We need a whole lot more gunnery. There we go. Alright, you do your rear attack. I think we reserve. Allow the other one to move as well. Yep. Now it has like no evasion. No, it has no evasion. Now we can... Now we can... We can... Stab them to death. Villains you as well, again. Because melee attacks on... On... Light max. Best way to go about things. And now... If the thing is we can... Should be able to... Stray shot them because they are they are nicely lined up. Yep. Yes, Commander. Heading out. So what's your hit chance on this? Alright, go for that. Wow! 75% hit chance and you miss basically everything. Welcome to XCOM. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see if we can stray shot the... Stray shot the leg off, I think. Nope. That was perfect. That is synchronized knockdown. Damn, that went perfectly. That was really good. Um... Shoot that CT. Yeah. 
That went really well. That went way too well, damn. Okay, four is less uh, 19 salamander. Okay, we don't get any actual mech out of this, um, but we do get a bunch of um, bunch of salvage, which is nice. I will I will have a bunch of salvage. Let's melee it from the rear. Technically, if I take the leg, we'll have a full javelin 10A. How much health in the lag? 25. Okay. Right. We will have a full javelin 10A then. Now we just finish the mission after slaughtering all the bad guys, the all the opposition hand. rather, Good work. and then it broke someone's house. <laughs> okay, let's see how many lasers there are, because I really need medium lasers, and I need, really need SRM launchers as well, SRM 6s prefer preferably. Okay, so yeah, I can, I could get a low cost 1M, and I could get a full javelin 10. Take that. Okay, this is what I'm going. Because there is enough salvage parts here that I probably get the Javelin 10A anyway, or the Locust 1M. By doing this, and this gets me the Centurion AL part. Yep, that secures me too. Like 10A and 1M. Is that Javelin 10A something I can use to replace the Commando 1? Commando 1 Bravo I have? How many missile slots? Does it only have one missile hardpoint? Yes. That mech you wanted is back online. It has two missile, two energy, two support. And it would technically be better. Uh, at least it would have more armor than what the Commander 1 Bravo has. But uh, I would have to spend the time to actually. Actually, you know. Uh, fit it up instead of the commando. I don't have the commando is already fitted up. So yeah, I, I am not I am not grabbing that. Anyway, well I will I will see you folks next mission. Okay, so we are helping pirates do stuff. One must survive, so that means we probably have to do all sorts of silly things to ensure that these guys don't just suicide in. Um, at least they have a javelin 10A, which hopefully stays back. Oh, they have two of them, alright. Oh, this is pure LRM both lands, okay. Alright. Interesting. Anyways, um, so this is a, a one skull battle, and I am here on 3 slash 15 salvage. Hoping that I get, uh, I can actually get some kind of a decent um, mech to replace the commando with. Hopefully, I can get some kind of a decent mech to replace the commando. But I would really love to be able to replace both the commando and the the Phoenix Hawk. Those are like right now the weak links of this uh, of this setup. Oh, yeah, well, there is a commando. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean that's a commando I do not own, so I need parts of that commando. I'm hoping there is more than one lens of uh, hostiles or. Or then I'm hoping uh, if these if if I can get three of these guys to die, I probably can't salvage their max, can I? <laughs> that would be amazing if I 
Alright, so fine. Um, what do we have at the back? Okay. Fine. So, we have a low cost and a fire starter at the back. The fire starter would be a mech we want. Let's just soften it up. Very good shooting to the uh, arm there. And you guys are. Yeah, you, I will let you guys deal with this commando which is just standing out there in the. That's fine. Let, let the other one shoot the commando as well. There's even more guys over there. Okay. That was 50% of the canopy and forces there. Good to go. Oh, I suppose we're not getting into range to engage those guys. Let's just sprint along then. What's up, boss? I'm away. Double time. Just get towards there then. Yes, Commander. Roger. Full speed. I'm trying to remember. Because I could try and actually do the Raven, uh, the, the, the prototype flashpoint kind of early here. That might be the next planet we jump after this one, since I hopefully have enough sea bells to, um, to not run out by just going over there and still doing stuff. But I'm trying to remember, did, it, did that flashpoint have a, uh, a maximum tonnage for drops? I think it did, and it was something like 50 tons each mech? I can't remember right now. Anyway. Okay, well, that's the fire starter taking a pommelin. I am so not getting parts of max here. Alright, 10 in javelin. I think I have a part of that already. Oh, that would actually work. And a locust 1M. <laughs> I already have one. Alright, fine. Um, I really want the fire starter, but I am not getting three parts of a fire starter here. Um, can we so rip the legs of this thing and get two parts of that with the salvage table? That is a question. Maybe we can. Maybe we get lucky, maybe we can. Oh, a head hit. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Oh, come on, don't, don't shoot the javelin. I want the javelin. Well, then again, he just got rid of the evasion on the javelin, so that's positive. Um, I am going to reserve and allow the other trap to do its thing as well. See what's left for me to do. Can knock this thing down. Problem is, if we knock it down, Ready for orders. how about you? Right, you're almost, you're basically dead at this point. So never mind on you. Put up a jump, Chad. Guess that's fine. Oh, we are going to stray shot this thing to death. Fine. That hit something good. Stray shot at that thing to death. That's fine, I guess. Turn off that AC-10. And we, we hit everything but the leg. <laughs> RTLT. Is that incapacitation? No, that's not incapacitation. That's really annoying. Really hoping that would be incapacitation. Ugh. Just was really hoping it would have resulted in incapacitation. Well, I am not getting any any of the max I want then. Ugh. Fine. I want I wanted ma multiple parts of the javelin ten n. I am not getting it. Well, there is at least enough random trash into the in the salvage table to, for me to get the full 15 pieces, so I guess there is that. Orders. Waiting for orders. 
Let's just let's just blow this up as well. Okay, well I was not expecting it to go into a single CT kick, but I am not complaining. Allow the other one to shoot it as well, and then we can finish the job. Should be able to finish that job quite nicely. Nice and easy here. Hi. Right. Wait, they didn't die. Yeah, well, actually, we might get three parts of a Locust 1M here. If it had three health. <laughs> okay. That went a lot better than I expected it would. Wait, I have to wait for these guys to evac? Why is this nonsense? Or is that more bad guys? Location confirmed. Okay, I'm not quite understanding it right now. Is that more bad guys coming in? Okay, cool. Cool, more things to kill for me to kill. No, no, there is for sure more than 15 pieces. I could have gone full 419 if I knew there was this many things for me to shoot at. Uh, but it's a one skull mission, so I wasn't quite sure. Another Locust 1M. And it's a Javelin 10A. What is the third one? I have a 1M and I have a 10A. Is that really multiple 10As? Yeah, we can. Hoping that would be a, a some a, another 10N. Nope, it's all 10As, I guess. No wait, those were very pirate 10 A's. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Too many 10 A uh, low costs. 10 A javelins and too many 1 M low costs. Okay, it really is another 10 A. Alright. Uh, I'm getting tired of these in 10 A's. Anyway. Um, you know what? Let's reserve and allow these guys to strip the evasion for me, so I can I can finish the job. That guy that guy has a um, multi-target, which is actually really good when you're fighting uh, early on. When you're fighting mechs with a lot of evasion, you can strip evasion. Um, aside of, aside of that, though, it is not all that great. I'm hoping we stray shot this this thing. Didn't. Yeah, we shot in the head. Eh? Ready for orders. Eighty percent shot. All right, fantastic. Go. 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 One last target. Yeah, one last target. Standing Standing around. Around. Popping around. Now, yeah, um. I oh, will just precision show to you. Left torso, needed the right torso. That's what I was aiming for. Okay, that's a side shot. We'll take the side shot. Get okay, the left torso. Left torso does nothing for killing these things. They're gonna knock it over. Damn, the L LRM bouts are got it. I may actually, once I get the max to do it, I may actually want to play around with full LRM bouts for a bit. Because I have not played LRM missiles for such a long time. Oh, we get a full 10A. That might actually be an interesting pick. Out of here. Um, purely for the fact that... Uh, it would allow me. It won't get me uh, more sables by selling it. Okay. No more LRMs for you. Now slam it full of full of missiles. Okay. Thankfully. 
mission successful. All right, let's see what we got. That was a that was a good amount of carnage. No, no max that I really want pieces of. I do think I want the javelin ten uh, and a piece. Well, technically, I could, I could have another ten. Screw the ten a. All right, ten a. Um, this is something we do want. And an SRM four. Okay, that's easy. I want an LRM fifty. No, no. I think I want the Commando 2D part. No, I want the fire starter part. So we can finish uh, gathering all the medium, uh, all the light max, not medium, light max. Um, those two. Oh, nice! I got the Commando part and the Javelin Tenant part, and the LRM fifty. Okay, that went really well. SRM ammo, LRM ammo. SRM four, so I can put an SRM four into the uh, into the Griffin. Replace the SRM2 it has right now. This gets me a little closer to having uh, some kind of a decent mech to replace the commando with. Anyway, let's do next mission. This is a planetary government mission. I would prefer not doing this because you don't actually gain any reputation for them. You just destroy your reputation with other things. Gotcha. With them. However, uh, this early in the carrier, I don't think I can be picky yet. I need the sea balls, and for this one, uh, the, the salvage rights were really bad. So I am here with one five, yeah, one five salvage and mostly sea balls. Let's see if we. This is also a map I really do am not a fan of, because you will have to fight uh, up a hill. No matter which way you go, the enemies will be above you on the hill. Now let's uh, let's swing by this way and start working our way up. Technically push all the way somewhere here. Uh, there we go. There are the enemy contacts. At least one medium mech. Ah, 4P. Already have one. I mean, I would not say no to another one, but I do not have the medium lasers to ult for that. <laughs> Griffin 1N. TPC alarm 10. Griffin 1N. Okay. Thankfully, I am not here with uh, like full salvage rights, because this would not have been worth it. Uh, for the salvage anyway. So one, one, all right. Only three max. Okay. Perfect. Damn, I am not complaining. Uh, and I think we do this. I think we just go very aggro right now because it doesn't it's not in forest and it only has one evasion so we are going to try and burn burn as much damage in as we can right now problem we have only we have not damaged the right torso that is a little bit of a problem we'll jump a long long distance but i don't think i will we're just jumping here Okay, that's one laser of it. That doesn't really do much. Really do much? I mean, there is another laser in here. Really want the... Really, really, really want the sight all. That's that's the thing about... With hunchbacks always. Okay, I think all of that went into the sight I think. I think. Oh, come on, one Bravo. Okay, I am really happy. I am, I am here with like no salvage rights, because none of these mechs are, are stuff I want. Okay, that that side door is gone now. That side door is now gone. Damn, that went well. 
Damn, that went really well. The AC-10 shot hitting into the side torso. That was so good. And even a Phoenix Hawk 1. So all the mechs I already own. <laughs> I am guessing we are just picking a like a like a um, medium laser as a, as our priority salvage out of this. There is one medium laser in the left arm of that. Oh, it's a vindicator. Okay, I guessed correctly. All right, we are taking a vindicator. Or no, we are taking a medium laser. Um. But yeah, um, I thought it would have been Griffin 1N. Let's shoot the commando a little bit. The shot. Oh, nice stray shot. Very nice stray shot. If we can get rid of the commando. Commando is, um, I really like commando uh, when it comes to to the general, you know, um, mech warrior and battle tech universe. Uh, I really like commando. Because it's a... It's a light mech, it's a scout mech which has a very large armament for being a scout mech. Like, large laser on a 25 ton mech. I, I have always really liked the Commando as far as mechs go, but the unfortunate truth uh, of, of, um, of Battletech here is the fact that the Commando is way too soft. Okay, the AC-10 has been doing way too well for me right now. Way too well. Uh, anyway, uh, it is way too soft of a mech. Even early game, uh, where you could technically use it. Um, the problem is, it has only 40 armor in the arms. Which means that you can have your arm, or like the full armor uh, being stripped. And uh, internal damage being done by a single PPC shot, and you encounter so many PPCs early game. This thing has another PPC here. So, let's go kick this. We need to cool off anyway. And it is not standing in any kind of cover, so that means it is the. Uh, Okay, cool, cool, fantastic. You shoot shoot another target which is actually standing in here. That is really good for me. Um, side torso, alright. Can do that. Get rid of this. And blow up the side torso. Go. Well, you failed to blow up the side torso, but kind of close. Um, do I. Here comes the question. Do I. I'll, I'll walk so that we can lower here. Do I burn a precision strike right now? I won't. I am... Okay, now we've missed the AC... AC-10 shell, finally. I am, I'm enjoying that plus one to hit you get for having, you know, plus one bonus to accuracy. Um, oh, you can melee it as well. That means your back is turned, though? Okay, fine. You will... You will be able to take one PPC shot to the rear. Oh, if that thing moves first, that means we don't need to take the PPC shot in the rear. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. We can walk down here and shoot it. Aye, aye. Shoot it full of lasers. Go! Actually, this is probably where we precision strike. this, then we can go finish this Vindicator off. Nice. Please shoot the one which is actually in cover. <laughs> Nobody else is in cover. Um. Oh, I should have done this for last. Okay, it worked. Because uh, what happens there is that I put this thing in the way uh, to break line of sight to it if I wanted to move others up here and shoot it. Can we just move? No, we can't. So let's sprint. Sprint here, lose uh, some of the heat. Sprint here. Okay. Everybody is in cover now. Oh, actually, the Phoenix Hawk is not in cover, but that wasn't. That thing did not shoot the Phoenix Hawk, so 
All is well. All is well. Man, the amount of jumping this thing does is just insane. Um, actually, we will precision strike you. Purely for the powers that I go, I go first next round. It's a leg gun, which means we can. Everybody else can just go CT. We can only get one one out of five. Yeah, we have one one slash five salvage anyway. So everybody else going full CT seems reasonable. Wow, you didn't kill it. That's surprising. Oh, Starburst. Make it work. Yo. How? How do you fail that bad? Okay, finally. Finally. Destroyed the PPZ as well. No PPZ for me. Mission successful. Okay, show me the salvage table. All of them were max, which I do already have. So, uh, well, except the Vindicator 1A, but... If I pick this commando part, I can sell another one Bravo commando. For Sables. Make my Sable number go up. However, if I add myself more medium lasers... Yep. What medium lasers it is. Okay. I am really close to having another 4P. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's jump into the next mission then. So it seems like all of the battles I have access to have really bad salvage rights. So again, we are here with one priority salvage only for this battle. Although, um, after this, there is only one mission left and that's a base defense. And I might go that in the into that base defense with like decent amount of salvage, hoping that I can get uh, something nice out of the base defense. Okay. Uh, a heavy. August one E. A heavy, huh? Let's hope that it's a heavy vehicle, not a heavy mech. Because if if it's a heavy mech, I would be. A little annoyed that it, um... Yeah, that's a medium. There could have been some decent salvage here, but the salvage rights weren't all that great, unfortunately. And also, um, getting myself a nice... Some nice, um... Little, uh, buffer of seabells is not a bad idea. Let's engage this low cost. Fine, fire all everything. Let's just. You know what? We'll just blow up the low cost and be done with it. And then we will engage the other stuff. Yes, if we can take enemies one by one, why the heck would I not do that? Why would I not do that? All the enemies one by one. Off. Here, a uh, laser at. And now, hopefully, we hit that AC 10 shell. Good. Hopefully. Waiting for orders. Now, hit that AC 10 shot. Very good. Missed one. One medium laser, but very good. I'm picking up a new sensor okay, trace. there's a Looks lot like of stuff here. The nice thing about reinforcements, however, is the fact that uh, re reinforcements means more more percentage bonus seeables. So I'm, I'm not complaining about that. Let's just walk up to it. It didn't die! How cheating is that? I've been oh, somebody with sensor lock. Eh? Waiting for orders. 
Actually, let's um, use the Griffin first. Because the Griffin doesn't... Um... Oh, this is a side shot. Okay, that sucks. Okay, very good. Because the... The, um, the Hunchback wants to... Wants to cool off a little. Okay, that sensor lock was a little annoying. I will have to say, the sensor lock was a little... Hunchback wants to cool off a little. Let's... Uh... Hunch, hunchback cool off. More LRMs. Some kind of a very small LRL, LRM rack. You. Cool, cool off. I can, I can use this here. Instead of, instead of vehicle or a mech. That is the one thing I really want to know. Instead of vehicle or a mech. Let's find out. What do we have? It's a rifleman. It's a rifleman. Oh man. I would have wanted myself a rifleman 3C. That would have been an amazing pickup. We are definitely picking a part of rifleman. I have not yet really played around with the rifleman so in this game. So I really want to mess around with the rifleman. However, this... Oh, it's a Griffin 1S. It's also a mech that I do not have parts of. This one is not standing in any kind of cover, so we're shooting it. There is a locust down there, which means that we... Yeah, you cannot get in range. Oh, you can. Just have to expose yourself uh, a little bit. But you can get in range to put that thing full, full of lasers. Another Phoenix Hawk one. All right. on and there is a sensor lock on it. Yes, Hello, Phoenix Hawk. Uh, guessing you cannot actually make it. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. How good is your shot at this? Because, um. Rifleman is fully armored. That is two AC-10s. That is interesting. And this thing... Uh, this thing dies much easier. But it also is much less dangerous. It's just pummel the rifleman full of missiles. I mean, it is standing in cover, which is a little annoying. Okay, hunchback. Hunchback. Um... That's the Phoenix Hawk. Fine. Um. Power evasion on it. Okay, please miss. Ooh. That almost hurt. Almost hurt a lot. Locust runs away. Okay, that that's really good for me. Locust ran away. Oh, the rifleman is not in any kind of cover. Right. Are you insane? Yeah, yeah, I'm assuming the rifleman is insane. Okay, what that means is we, we just not right now we just go full bar on the rifleman. That should not be hard to disarm. Uh, either a Vindicator 1AA, that was the other one, right? Or a Griffin 1N. I, I, will, I will assume a Griffin 1N. Hi there, Rifleman. You like... Crap load of lasers. Man, I missed a lot. Damn, that sucked. Missed a lot. Okay, the Griffin tanked a bunch of shots, which is good. Now we need to jump the Griffin. Commander. Ew. Can jump okay. next to it. Hi.
Yeah, good luck with that. Have fun. <laughs> All of that good stuff. Um, Ready for orders. Can't get a side shot on it, can you? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna jump here. Just. Man, did we miss a lot. Oh well. Oh, 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 yes, please melee me. I don't think your melee is as scary as those double AZ tens are. So, yeah, sure, please melee me. Uh, now. Now, here comes the question. Do we try to assassinate it from the rear? We could try to assassinate this griffin from the rear. How much armor? 135. Oh, you have no rear armor. Yes, Commander. You have absolutely no rear armor. Okay, we can't really get multiple mechs behind it. Oh, what the heck? There is somebody over there as well. That's some mildly infuriating. Okay, fine. Well. Alright, that's the leg gun. That is something good. That's the leg gun. I'm going to be a little annoyed if we manage to actually like get full three parts of that by accident and I don't have the salvage rights to do it. Um I have a feeling you're going to melee this guy. Moving out. Hopefully that went into ZT. Ow! Okay, I did not expect to jump to, to my rear for, for that. Oh, hello there. Hello there, there, dead griffin. Wait, it didn't die. And we hit in the head. Do I worry about this guy or do I worry about G Griffin? That guy is going to have massive, uh, massive penalties for shooting anyway. But the answer is uh, obviously to worry about the Griffin. A precision shot into the CT. This way the Griffin doesn't get a go next round. I hope we can salvage that. Okay, next turn I need to jump the hunchback first. Or move the hunchback first. <laughs> I'm being played. Okay. Thankfully, we are about to leave this planet. Waiting for orders. Oh, we almost lost a pilot here. <laughs> we almost lost a pilot here. Right, that thing is not standing in any kind of cover again. So, we, we just killed the rifleman. Man, I almost lost a, lost myself a hunchback and a pilot with that move. Okay. Um. Oh, you can melee that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, you, you you should be happy you are not as uh, scary as this rifleman, because otherwise you would be very dead. Your vigilance in first. Walking up and... Missile was away! Reporting critical hit. Good to go. 
really want to slaughter at this round. Oh my word, we didn't get the CT head there. Ow! Really should stop that. Not much armor left in that location. Ready for orders. Um. He else gets to kill this guy first. That's fine. We worry about the low cost. We could shoot the low cost before it gets some more. Okay. Shoot the low cost before it gets to move. That has a little less damage on my hunchback. I think we jumped the hunchback. Um, back now further fire. and we uh Ready for orders. jump the hump ju hunchback back Ready. here and we brace get rid of all of that all of that craziness and now we kill the kill this thing Commander. so how much you have 11 health on the do this from the side and should should have this now there we go. There we go. And then, then take out this thing. Lead from here. Need to, need to lower heat anyway, so might as well melee it for damage. Oh yeah, please back up there. Oh, man. I think that opened my right arm. That would be really bad. Yeah, that's the AC-10 arm. This way around. Oh man, that got lucky. Straight to crit into the, to the AC, uh, uh, into the machine gun ammo. But what the heck are you? Good question. Let's um. You here? Yes, Commander. Here. Then we wait for next round. The uh, heck is that? Yes, Commander. Oh, yeah, there is a Griffin one in here, All right? That was the PPZ LRM. Okay. I'm ready for order. It's the PPZ LRM. Show the left side. Make sure we don't lose that AZ-10 arm. Nice shooting. Now we hit everything. But spread damage. Spread damage a lot. Um, let's uh, get you closer. Down here. Um, I think we precision strike you here. For the purpose that next turn we can we move before it does. That's the goal, right? And shoot everything from this side. Because if we get the side torso, we get all of the guns. But I wouldn't say no to you getting the PBZ. How do you hit the head from the side? Fine. In this forest here, like this. Copy that. Oh, missed the eighty-five person shot. Fine. Commander. Firing right. Engage lasers. That is a lot of damage spread all over the place. I'm gonna fire missiles from this side. So that no matter which direction it goes to, I have somebody who can shoot at pieces. Another headshot! Okay. 
Another headshot. Oh, very good. Sh please shoot that. <laughs> the, the one undamaged mech. Please shoot that some more. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Copy that. Ah, it all went into the lag. All right, very good. That's good. Very good. Ready for orders. Now you are in cover, at least from the PPC. Which is perfect. The damage spread right now. <laughs> oh, the damage spread right now is kind of insane. On my way. Oh, how do you miss that? Order. Let's jump up. You can tank damage still. Wild incapacitation. Alright, that would be a full griffin one end. Uh, that would be a full griffin one end. Jeez. I think I'm taking the rifleman part. I think I am. Okay, very good. The other, another 20% pushes me over 800,000 seabolts. Nice. You know, I lost the sea heat sink. That that's a little annoying. I mean, there would be more medium lasers here. There is actually a lot of salvage here. I am taking that rifleman part. I really want to play around with riflemen. I really have not. Or so I'm taking the rifleman part. Oh, nice! Medium lasers. Medium lasers is good. Or is it ten ammo? Well, medium lasers. <laughs> Awesome. Anyway, let's do the final mission. Okay, so final mission of the planet. Base defense. Base defense. So, what I need to do is, I need to put the Centaur in somewhere about here. Uh, because it actually has the long range weapon. Do stuff. Where else would enemies come from? Back here? That's very much a possibility. Right now, our stuff is mostly co gonna come from from there anyway. So I am here with what three fifteen salvage. Hoping this is one and a half skull uh, base defense. Hoping that there is enough light max for here uh, here for me to smash nice and fast, that I can get um, you know fifteen points of salvage. Oh, well, that's a. Is that a double gender D? No, it's just one. I thought it was two. Anyway, um... Standing by. What's up, boss? Uh, uh, like this. Like this. Give me... Give me gender D parts. <laughs> oh, a vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Um... The scorpion, is something we can kill with a single AC 10 shell. Yes, yes. Okay. That thing does not get a shot now. And that would be probably be a striker then, if we if you have uh, multiple multiple vehicles here. Hoping it's a rifleman 3C. <laughs> hoping, really hoping it's a rifleman 3C. Um, Good to go. Okay. Wow, it didn't die. Okay. Yep, striker narc. Yep. Damage is light. Could have tagged the locust, but I don't think I need to. Wow. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um. Can you finish that off with a yeah, as well? Just kill it. 
Commander. Location confirmed. I copy. That's your bed. Uh, I we broke basically all the parts of that thing. All right, we need to uh, need to move to intercept those. That's fine. Not much left of the uh, left to do here anyway. There is one locust running around. Um, the the, uh, the problem with uh, smashing all the parts of the Jenner. Oh, there is a, a second Jenner. The all right. That's really good. I can get multiple parts of a Jenner D. But that okay, that's not fun. Okay. All the LRM max here to try and blow blow all the uh, buildings I have to pieces. Jump. Okay. Now the rest of you can engage that Jenner and start moving to get... Uh, yeah, oh man, something with two large lasers? Some kind of a Vindicator. Ready for orders. On my way. Here. Engage the Jenner. Engage. Very good. Waiting for orders. I, I would really like if I could get myself a uh, full Jenner from this, but... Unlikely. Unlikely I can. Oh, there is more up there. Okay. Interesting, to say the least. I have missiles. I mean, those missiles don't do much at this uh, at this point with that much evasion and whatnot. Okay, they really want that point the building. Oh, a commando. Yeah, it's a one Bravo. Let's just blow it up. Or maybe we ignore that. Possibly ignore the Commando One Bravo. And focus on things we don't already have parts of. Amount of uh, LRM Max which came in here is, is kind of annoying. Wow, it failed to kill it. That is amazing. There we go, finally. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to uh, kill all of those buildings, but they can still do it. Yes, um, let's jump over here, see what we have. Oh, a crab! I really want a crab now. And uh, Never mind you, I, I will shoot this one with just the machine guns. Okay, I want, I want three parts of a crab. Can we, can we get three parts of a crab? Oh, that would be amazing if I can get three parts of a crab. Alright, let's uh, go that direction. While we are going there, let's, um, let's pummel this thing to death. We have full... A full... Um, full resolve. Let's pummel the gen to pieces. Ready for Tranquility. You... But, um, let's put an AC-10 shell into this locust, are we? Are we doing that, or, yeah, I think we are doing that. Because it's a 50 percent shot. Fine. Missed. But, now the locust should shoot us instead of shooting the... Shooting the buildings. All of the locusts should be shooting us, not the buildings. Emulays are great. Yeah, I have uh, five turns, five rounds to get three parts of. Oh, that's a lot of Commando One Brother. Uh, five rounds to get three parts of a crab. Uh, maybe two parts if I can take both legs off. That, I mean, that could work. Oh, that's another building down. Damn, I may actually need to spend time <laughs> shooting these mechs so they don't shoot me. Okay, good. It shot the Centurion and not the... Not the building. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the crab. 
I am, I am, I really want to grab, man. Grab, man. Okay. Go. I'm kind of hoping to get machine guns into the head of the of it. By accident, you know? Okay, sight or so. Crab. Uh, I could melee this thing to death. I think we spent a round on that. One less thing which is shooting at us. Do I shoot the crab or do I shoot this thing to pieces? Problem is, if I go, if I get into the side door, so that sucks. So let's let's remove some some of these little little things from running around. And Starburst here um, is going to engage that javelin tank, so that the javelin doesn't. Um, So that the javelin starts shooting me instead of the buildings. Okay. Oof. Ow, you hurt. But you came closer to me, which is what I what I needed. Which is what I wanted. Okay, we can actually uh, melee a commando here. If we really want to. This is the final mission on the planet after all. I'm going to repair stuff anyway after this, so we can we can take a little bit of a pounding. As long as we don't lose all of the uh, any any weapon systems or all of the weapon systems. I don't wanna lose pilots or weapons at this point. Okay, so what we want is this lag. Can side shot? Yes please. Give side shot. That did not help. At all. I hurt. Okay, that is a little too much damage now on the on the griffin. They've blown past my armor. Ready for order. Okay, thankfully it's just the left arm though, so it doesn't really matter much. Damn it. I jump in front and just do this. Machine guns to the head, go. I was I was really hoping I would be able to get lucky with that. Really hoping to get lucky with that. Alright, um I think what I'm going to do is I am going to Okay, it's this guy. I was hoping to uh, stray shot the other commando Reporting to tag both of them. By. Turn right side. Then go for it. We got a so we got a torso, but so that will be one injury. Torso, torso shot would be one injury. That's really bad. Now they should not be able to. Yeah, I will. I will let them shoot the buildings. They should not be able to kill two buildings. At the or rather, that one commando which is still shooting buildings, right? I am going to try really hard here to get this. Get uh, three parts of this crab. Like really hard. Um. Ah, oh, there is too much, too much damage to the CT. I can probably get the leg this round. Probably. Yes, Manda. Good to go. 
And get the lag. Really? Really? And everything went into goddamn CT. Uh, so so much for that. How much health in that lag? 13. Tranquility. Okay. We don't get the lag. Yeah. That went into CT as well. Okay. We are only getting one part of a crab then. God damn it, that is annoying. Really annoying. They melee it from the rear. Solid connection on that one. Commander. Copy that. Ugh. <sighs> The fact that they, uh, so much of it went into the CT, that was the uh, that was the problem. That was really the problem. I'm only getting one part of a crab. Ah, uh, I'm annoyed about that. Oh well. Oh yeah, well. Well, there is enough random junk here for me to get a bunch of uh, bunch of parts still. So, at least there is that. Let's just try and kill everything now. I can just try and slaughter everything. Okay, this thing is dead as soon as we uh, sneeze its way. Um, Receiving you. you go and assassinate this thing from the rear. This is where we precision strikes. And you still mess. <laughs> you still mess. Oh, jeez. Um, jewel. Okay, that's the commando down. That's an odd direction to go and melee from. It's the right arm. We jump behind here and just slam this into the rear. Should be able to kill everybody here. Now, we have one round left. That thing just walks. Okay, perfect. If all it does it is walk forward and it, it failed to kill the building even. Okay, melee this to death. Okay, fantastic. And fan fan fantastic. Uh, now the question is just can we kill this too? Okay, precision strike time. GT go. I think we got pretty close. I think we were getting pretty close to killing it. Um, Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. There we go. Everything is dead on the final turn. And I really wanted the crab part. Really, really did want multiple parts of a crab. Oh, that would have given me another 50 toner. Oh, blimey. Oh, well. That is slightly annoying. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Oh well. Wait! I already had two parts of a crab. Completely forgot about that. I already had two parts of a crab. Yeah, right. I met crab in the first episode. I completely forgot about that. Um, Do I pick myself a full Jenner here? I might take the Locust 1S part, because I have none of those. And then take medium lasers to fill the crab with. Yeah, I think... I'm thinking that that will happen. Taking the 1S part, yeah. Because I have none of those. And, and if I get one of these or one of these, I get a mech to sell for Seabells. So that's bonus. And finally, I will take an, a medium laser to fill the crab with. 
Oh man, the fact that I got the grab is really good. Yeah, I got Commando 1 Bravo and Locust 1M I can sell. Okay, uh, that, that needs me a lot of CMLs. Really good. Really, really, really good. Thought I would uh, give some thoughts here to where I am flying next and, and so other things which came to mind. So first of all, I was looking at where, where do I want to fly and... Any, so, uh, because I was thinking of going for the prototype flashpoint to get Raven. This is uh, only a one and a half skull flashpoint. This should be very well doable now as I have four uh, mediums. But there was a tonnage requirement of something here, which I don't remember, like... Um, was it like maximum 50 ton each mech? Or something like that. Um, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, uh, this is what uh, what I was thinking of. However, it is on a three skull planet. And it, it takes it a... Um, it lasts here a long time. So I have time to go other places. Um, this flashpoint I don't want to do yet. It is a little, maybe a little difficult for my current lens, maybe. However, it occurred to me that I could go here, do this two skull flashpoint here, and start up on this, um, uh, on this, on this, um... Hey, wait, did I need a heavy mech for this? Anyway, uh, it might be, but... This thing is also on a one and a half skull planet, which is definitely doable for me. Okay, um, I will travel some planets which I have already traveled through, but that doesn't matter that much. Uh, one and a half skull planet seems really nice. So let's let's uh, fly that way and so on. Before I go, however, a couple other thoughts. Well, for one, I need to do some mech repairs, and this Centurion is still in tatters, which we need to fix. Uh, make repairs and outfit this grab. And what I'm... Before that, uh, I am spending a little bit of seabells on some guns. I think of it. I could fill, uh, get myself a full javelin ten end, but I, I'm not spending seabells on it yet. Uh, what I want from here, there was a plus two accuracy AC-10 here. Which is kind of a decent, because um, what this does is, is the plus two accuracy... Um, Basically neutralizes the uh, refire penalty, the recoil penalty, which is uh, minus two. You hit on the AC-10. So this is this is kind of nice from that point of view. So I'm grabbing that, um, and I'm ca grabbing an AC-5, and there is an AC-2 here with plus five damage. So I'm taking that as well in case I eventually get myself some rifleman or whatever to be able to you know pound away with some. <laughs> Or maybe a Jaeger mech with like four AZ tubes. I, I might try something like that out. So I'm definitely grabbing that as well. New weapon the other thing here is that there are two LB5s here. And this is a weapon system I really haven't played much around with yet. I have, think I have tried them like once or twice. So I'm gonna buy both of them and I'm gonna mess around with them. There is an UAC 20 here. And um, I would consider that uh, UAC 20 if it had uh, the the... Uh, is it the plus plus version which can have the minus three tons? Because this thing is obviously going to take require like four tons of ammo to be able to have like decent amount of shots, or at least three tons of ammo. So to be able to with three tons of ammo, you can fire it like uh, seven times, I think, seven and a half. So anyway, uh, these are these I'm definitely grabbing out of here as well, and I need to New buy ammo for them. So that's uh, that's my thought process here. This is just plus twenty five percent crit. I don't think I'm spending seals on that. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm definitely flying over to uh, that uh, that nice planet and and trying out uh, the the stuff there. Anyway, um, I will see you folks next time with more Battletech carrier mode. So thank you very much for watching.